Call the Honourable Member for Reid. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise here this morning while, as we speak, two Australian citizens are being transported to a prison island to face a firing squad in Indonesia. After nearly 10 years in prison, Andrew Chan and Mayuran Sukumaran are being moved to the prison island where their execution is planned to take place. There is no doubt in anyone's mind that Andrew and Mayuran committed a serious and horrible crime that would have impacted on many lives. But it is also undeniable, if you listen to any of the testimonials from people who have grown to know them during their prison term, that Andrew and Mayuran are reformed men. Over the last decade, these two Australians have grown and are reportedly making a positive difference to the lives of their fellow prisoners and a real contribution to Indonesia. It is unthinkable and unacceptable that these executions would go ahead while legal avenues are still being pursued by the pair's defence team. It's my understanding that even at this stage, the pair's legal team are in the process of lodging an appeal in the State Administrative Court. I'm only asking the Indonesian government to be consistent in their approach to the death penalty. Cases of Indonesian citizens on death row in other countries, including those on charges of drug-related crimes, have attracted the full support of their government to obtain an act of mercy for their citizens. This is what I and the Australian people are asking the Indonesian government to display at this time – mercy and forgiveness. Mm -hmm. We are making this plea to President Wadodo as a forgiving man to see the remarkable difference these young men have made to many Indonesians in prison, and we appeal at this time for him to show true leadership. I'm also aware that similar pleas have been coming from many Indonesians as well, as the attention this case has attracted causes Indonesians to discuss their government's stance on capital punishment. I note the Governor of Jakarta recently made a rare public statement on the matter and rightly pointed out that the death penalty does not serve as a deterrent and that if, if allowed to live, it gives individuals the opportunity to become better people and perhaps assist others to do the same. This is obviously the, the case with Andrew and my urine. And I believe if clemency was granted, they have so much to give back to Indonesian society and to help other criminals to reform and become better people. As outlined in the Mercy campaign for Andrew and my urine, their reformation is a testament to the Indonesian penal system, which has allowed this process of rehabilitation. Their story is known both in Indonesia and around the world. They serve as role models for other prisoners, as an example of that there is hope for individuals to turn their lives around. I know that both the Prime Minister and the Foreign Minister have been making the strongest representations to their counterparts on this case, and I thank them for that. The government has and will continue to do everything possible to persuade Indonesia to change course and agree to a permanent state in execution. I sincerely hope that we will see a show of mercy from President Widodo and a permanent stay of execution for Andrew and Myurin so that they can continue to give back to Indonesia as reformed men.